How do you how do you work this thing? It's been such a long time. I forgot how to work this. Argos. Argos. Do you know how to work this, man? <laughs> do you know how to work this, my boy? <laughs> I heard that they got me on a tight leash, but I'm a big dog like Argo. Yeah. Bubba in the lead, what are you talking about? Cooking Chef T, what are you talking about? Told me that the beef were unhealthy, so we went green, what are you talking about? Bubba in the lead, what are you talking about? Cooking Chef T, what are you talking about? Yo, it's your boy Tyrell, and we got, we got. <laughs> We got, oh my gosh, bro, you just headbutted me. We got Argos down there. Argos, say what's up to the people, man. Say what's up to the people, man. <laughs> oh, God, man. I can't remember the last time I did that. Jeez. Hey, man. Um, man, it's crazy. Please excuse the mess. Um, I'm actually in the process of moving, so there's stuff everywhere. But I really, really, really need to make this video. You know, I, it's something I've been pushing off for a very long time. Um, and I'm going to tell you guys why. I'm going to keep this video as raw <laughs> and as real as possible. Um, you guys know who I am. I like to keep it real, man. Um, Where do I even begin? So, honestly, I've been pushing recording this video. I've been pushing it away for so long. Like, I mean, like, years. I've been pushing um, making this video. You know what I'm saying? For many reasons. And the video that I wanted to, you know, kind of talk to you guys about. Or the video that I wanted to record. And I didn't. I just want to make sure the lighting and stuff is good. Oh, battery's about to die. Hold on. Let me change my battery. See, look, I haven't been doing this for a while. And my battery's about to die. <laughs> Let me charge my battery. Hold on. All right, we back in action. So I just basically just plugged in one of my, it's called a dummy battery. So I can't really move. I'm just going to kind of stay right here. Ho hopefully that's okay with you guys. <clears throat> but I've been avoiding making this video for a very long time now. Um, every day that I had the time to make this video, um, I made the excuse not to record it. You know, I try to act like I was busy or, um, just find some excuse on why I don't want to record this video. Um, because recording this video requires me to look myself in the mirror and it requires me to be very vulnerable and, um, I was avoiding that, to be honest. First and foremost, I want to say this, man. I want to say, you know, thank you guys for all the love and support that you've given me and that you've given Argos over, you know, the last, man, four or five years. You know what I'm saying? It's been amazing. Um, it's been life changing. Um, I was really on a journey um, of self discovery, you know. Um, when I when I posted a video of adopting Argos, my life had changed. Um, and really, if, even if I back up a little bit, just making YouTube videos in general um, has changed my life, you know. And I don't mean in a financial way or anything like that. I just mean it gave me a sense of purpose. When I graduated high school, um, a lot of my peers went to college, four year universities. Um, a lot of my peers, you know, went to the military. Um, some of them got like really nice jobs or whatever. And I was like really lost. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, but I knew that I loved being in front of a camera. I knew I loved making content. So that's what I decided to do. I started making content um, well before YouTube. I was making videos on, you know, Vine um, back in high school. Uh, I posted some videos on like my Instagram and Twitter that went viral. So I knew that that's kind of like what I wanted to do. You know, I love being in front of a camera. I love connecting with people, making people laugh, making people smile. So before I started my YouTube journey, I kind of made myself, and no one really knows this, but I kind of made myself like a promise or like a, uh, I set goals for myself. And 
some of those goals were sub sub subscriber base, right? So, you know, one, you know, from zero subscribers to a hundred to five hundred to a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand, and you know, everything was going well, everything was going good, but. When COVID hit, that's kind of like when I saw everything from my content kind of change because I, I was going through a very dark time. You know, I was very depressed during that time, um, just being locked in the house. Um, my living situation, you know, wasn't the healthiest, um, you know, where I lived. It, it just um, I was basically just in my room all the time, you know, and that alone. I mean, when you're in your room all the time and. Your time to get out of your room is when you go out the house and then the lockdown happens so people couldn't leave. That really took a huge toll on my mental health. Um, you know, I saw some of the, my darkest days during that time. So my content slowed down because I like to be genuine. I like to be real and authentic. I like to be myself and I can't fake content. You know, I can't fake, um, you know, making some content that just doesn't feel right to me. If you ask my boy Roland that helped me record a lot of these like recipe videos, like none of the stuff was ever scripted. Everything that I did came from improvising or like just from the heart, you know. Um, so I avoided making this video for a long time. I'm just going to, you know, I don't want to get too deep into that. Um, but that's just kind of like the basis, you know, uh, you know, I made goals to myself and I love making content, you know, COVID happened and my content started to slow down a lot, you know, and, you know, when I posted Argos, when I adopted him, that's when my channel, like, took a huge turn, like, it blew up, you know, um, and a lot of people came to my channel, you know, just wanting to see Argos, which is, you know, completely fine and understandable. Um, he's a great dog. Um, he's been great. He's still silly. He's still very youthful. Um, you know, that's my dog right there, man. That's my boy. And, um, yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm giving you your props. You're my boy, right? Um, and in a way, you know, I was really young, and I felt that I wanted to make content that I wanted to make, like the authentic world content that I wanted to make. And people just wanted to see Argos, you know what I'm saying, which is completely fine. And, and now looking back on it, obviously I'm older, I'm wiser. But, you know, when I post videos that had nothing to do with Argos, I just get comments about where's Argos. And, you know, I get it now. You know, at the time I didn't understand. I was, you know, I guess you could say ignorant or um, a little selfish, I guess. Um, but that kind of turned me away because I was like, you know, I want to, I want to, I can do more than just like, you know. I want to help people. I want to make people smile, laugh, whatever. And I, and I realized like now, like I could do that with, you know, making vlogs with Argos and stuff, but there were certain types of content that I wanted to create that wasn't getting pushed out enough because my subscribers weren't watching it because they liked the content of just Argos, you know? Um, so, you know, all in all, man, um, I'm just going to kind of, cause I don't want this video to be too long, but, <laughs> when I was making YouTube videos, I felt like I had a purpose. You know what I mean? I felt like I was on the right track. I felt like I was doing, um, I was doing something, you know, in my life. I wasn't out here in the streets. I wasn't, you know, doing any bad things. Like I felt like I had something going, you know, I felt free. I felt, um, I felt good, you know what I'm saying? When I make when I make content and I connect with people all around the world, like I, I just feel really good, you know, it just feels like what I'm supposed to be doing. And I stopped doing that. You know, and I, I felt lost and my life has changed completely. Um I have a lot of you know, new things happening in my life right now. Um and I avoided making this video because I felt like I let a lot of people down. I felt like I let a lot of you guys down because I, I, you know, took you guys on this journey with me and I just stopped and it was so bad to the point where I wouldn't even want to look at my YouTube comments. I wouldn't look, I didn't want to look at my YouTube notifications because I just felt bad. I felt terrible. I felt like I let a lot of people down and most importantly, I felt like I let myself down, you know, because I was on this, 
I was on track to, you know, do great things and reach my goals. And I felt like I had purpose. I felt like, hey, maybe this is like my way of like putting my mark on the world. You know what I mean? And um, I stopped. So I avoided making this video for a very long time because I have to look myself in the mirror. I look at you guys and be very vulnerable and say like, yo, I've been avoiding this. I've been avoiding this video for so long, man. Like, seriously, I even second guess myself today, you know, before I even turn the camera on. Like, ah, do I want to do it? Um, I don't even know how many people are going to watch this video. I don't even know. If people are even going to get the notifications because I haven't been posting, I don't really know. But I felt in my heart to record this video, you know. Um, <laughs> things have changed a lot, guys. Like, let me just show you. I got a daughter now, bro. She's eight months. Um, her name's Amira. She's a beautiful, beautiful uh, baby, man. She's my, she's my everything, you know. And guys, I can be completely honest with you, man. I was scared, you know. I was scared of the thought of being a father and. Um, you know, my relationship wasn't the best, you know, it was very, <laughs> very hard times during that, um, you know, and now I'm a father, you know, and some days I would just sit there and think like, man, they're supposed to be on this journey with me. They're supposed to know about all of this. And some of you guys follow me on Instagram, so you know. Very few of you guys, like a handful. Uh, my original Instagram account got hacked, so then I decided I ended up getting my account back. But I ended up creating a whole new Instagram, so only a handful of you guys follow me on there. And you guys have seen, and you guys have seen my posts and all that stuff. Um, but life is just so different now, bro. You know, like I, I want to create content. The type of content that I want to create, I've been trying to get back into it. I've been posting on TikTok, uh, different things that I'm interested in. Um, I have a new channel that I started that I haven't posted anything on there yet because I just don't know. Um, I would love to get this channel going back up and going and um, posting the type of content that I want to create. Start getting you know back closer to my goals. But it's just very difficult you know, when you put content out and... The algorithm isn't in your favor because your subscribers aren't, aren't watching those types of videos, you know. So I thought to myself, maybe I got to just start over from scratch, you know. Um, so things have been real different, man. As you guys can see, like, I'm in a different place than when I used to record my videos. Like, this is an apartment that I'm in. You guys are used to me being in my room. Some of you guys that are OG subscribers remember the brown walls and... Then I painted them white. Um, I moved in here a couple years ago, and now I'm about to move to a bigger place. You know, things have just been things have just been uh, different. You know, what I'm saying a lot of growth has taken place. And you know, honestly, man, I just I miss all of you guys, man, because like I said, you guys like my family. Um, I got you know people that I don't even I don't even talk to like I don't even talk to anymore. You know, what I'm saying. People I went to, you know, that I thought I was like really cool with, really close with, don't really talk to as much. Um, I feel lost, you know, like I felt lost and I still feel lost without any sort of purpose. You know, like I said, my main pur purpose right now is taking care of my daughter. That's my purpose in life, you know. So when I wasn't recording all this content and stuff, man, I just felt lost. I felt depressed. I felt lonely. You know what I'm saying? And then when my daughter was born, I felt like I had purpose again, you know, and that's why I just 
been soaking up so much time, like every day just being present um, for my daughter and just for my own sanity too, you know. But you guys were like my purpose before my purpose now, you know. And I took it very hard. I took it very hard. So what do we do from here? Argos, what do we do from here, man? What do we do from here, bro? <laughs> what do you think, man? Um, so I don't know. I guess it kind of just depends on, you know, how many people see this video. And um, I know it's going to be a lot of you guys in the comments, like, supporting me and loving me because that's the type of people y'all are, you know. But I don't know if I want to keep putting content on this channel or not. Um, I posted a few videos before. I think like last year didn't do so well. Um, and, you know, I, I got kind of bummed out about it, about it because I put so much work and so much effort in and um, it didn't do well. But who knows, man? We'll, we'll see what happens um, moving forward. But I did. I do believe that I owe you guys this video um, and I owe it to myself, too. You know, um, I already feel a little bit better about everything just because I finally did something that I've been avoiding and makes me feel better about, you know, about everything. And um, I'm not asking for you guys to forgive me for all of this, because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we're all human. Um, I never was a full time YouTuber or full time full time content creator. I wanted to be. That was my goals. Um, and I'm trying to slowly get back to, you know, to that because, you know, creating content is my happy place. It's, it's where I feel the most peace in my life. It's where I feel the most creative um, and it's where I feel the most connected, not only to other people, but to myself. You know, so I'm hoping I can, you know, make a return and, you know, leave a positive mark on the world and help a lot of people out there, man. So. Yeah, man, that's that's. Essentially, that's it, man. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Um, maybe, you know, if I record the next video, I'll show you guys my daughter. And um, she's uh, she's very special, man. I'm <laughs> she loves her dad, man. That's all I'm going to say. Argos, you want to say something to the people, man, or what, man? You want to close out? Come over here, man. This dude back there on the couch, man. Like I said, please excuse the mess because we're moving. Um, Come here. What you doing? Come on. Just be looking at me, bro. Like, <laughs> come on. It's my boy. It's my boy. Argos, look. Look. Look at the camera, man. Look at the people, brother. <laughs> oh, man. By the way, I need to get him a new gold chain. Um, he's a wild boy. So his, uh, his old gold chain, I think it was, like, already broke. And it, like, fell off, like, in the woods or, or somewhere. So I got to buy him another gold chain and I'm, I'm going to do that, you know, just once we get everything settled, right? Argos, we're going to get you a gold chain back, you know what I'm saying? But he's been chilling, man. Argos is healthy. Um, I know I've been talking to show my face. I'll show you guys Argos a little bit. <clears throat> Argos, man. People want to see you, brother. <laughs> but yeah, Argos is healthy, man. He's still very youthful. Um, Looks good, you know. He still act like he's a puppy. Get that right, Argos. You still act like you're a puppy, right? But he's a good boy, man. He's a very good boy. Get that right, buddy. <laughs> oh my gosh, Argos. <laughs> you can see he's getting a little bit older, though. You kind of start to see it a little bit in his face, but he still has that little puppy face. Just because his hair is like kind of turning in different colors right here. But... Argos would be, uh, dang, Argos, think you'll be six this year, buddy. Dang, you ought to be six, man. What in the world? Where is time gone, bro? Where is time gone? Anyway, guys, if you watched this whole video, I really appreciate y'all. You know, um, I know this video is going to be like, what, 20 minutes long? Um... 
If you watch this whole video, I appreciate you. Even if you watch a little bit, man, I appreciate you. I know you guys have your, you know, your day to day stuff to, that you got to do in life, and I feel a lot better, man. I feel a lot better. Like you guys really don't understand. I've had days where I was like, man, okay. Like yesterday, I was supposed to record this video, and I was like, nah, I can't. I kept avoiding it, you know. Um, and I finally did it, man. So I'm proud of myself. Anyway, I love you guys. You know, leave some comments. Say hi. Say whatever, man. You can say anything, you know. And I really appreciate it, man. So until next time, I'm out of here, y'all. I love y'all. Y'all be safe. Y'all be easy. Peace. You want to say something, Argos? You want to say something to the camera real quick? He always going on my desk. What are you talking about? <laughs>